Welcome to Lecture Online, and now for some examples of how to solve linear equations. In our first example, we don't have to get rid of parentheses or fractions or decimals, so we just go right to step number two, which says move all terms with an x to the left side of the equation, everything else to the right side of the equation. So in this case, the 8x goes to the left, the minus 4 goes to the right. Remember, when we cross equal sign, we change the sign of the term. So this becomes 3x minus 8x equals the 21 is already there and the 4 goes across becomes a plus 4 so this we add now where we combine like terms so this becomes minus 5x is equal to 25 and now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x that cancels out so x is equal to minus 5 and that's the solution to our first example on the second example we first have to get rid of the parentheses so in that case we do that we distribute the 4 to the 2 and the minus x, the 5 to the 1 and the 3x, so this becomes 4 times 2, which is 8, minus 4x is equal to 5 plus 15x minus 2. Now we move all the variables or all the terms with the x to the left side of the equation, everything else to the right side of the equation, so we have the minus 4x minus 15x, because that becomes minus when we move it across the equal sign, equals 5 minus 2 and the 8 goes across becomes a minus 8 now we combine like terms when we do that we get minus 19x is equal to we have minus 10 plus 5 that would be uh, minus 5 and finally we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient in front of the x that cancels out and so x equals 5 over 19. all right third example now we have fractions, and we can see that the lowest common denominator here is 10, which means we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. So multiply the left side by 10, and multiply the right side by 10. So here, 5 goes into 10 twice, so we get 2x, plus 10 goes into 10 just once, so that becomes 3x is equal to, and here, 10 times 8 is 80, minus 20x. Next step is to move all the terms with an x to the left side of the equation, everything else to the right, the 80 is already there, so that stays right there. So we end up with 2x plus 3x plus 20x is equal to 80. We combine like terms, so here we can see that we have 25x is equal to 80, and now we divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient of the variable, so divide the left side by 25, divide the right side by 25, so x is equal to 80, divided by 25. That looks like we can simplify that because it's both divisible by 5, so that becomes 16 over 5. So x equals 16 over 5 is the final result here. And finally on that example, notice we have some decimals there, we want to get rid of those. In this case we have two decimal places, which means we're going to multiply both sides by 100. So multiply the left side by 100, multiply the right side by 100, so 100 times this becomes 5x plus 20x is equal to 600 minus 100x. The next step is to move all the variables, all the terms with the variable to the left side equation, everything else to the right side. So this is 5x plus 20x plus 100x. Remember that when you cross equal sign, the sign changes, that equals 600. And so this is 125x is equal to 600. And does 125 go into 600? Not evenly. So, uh, so divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the variable. That cancels out. So we end up with x is equal to, uh, let's see, we can simplify that. They're both divisible by 5. So 5 goes into 600 120 times. And 5 goes into 125 25 times. I can divide that by 5 again. So this becomes um, 24 divided by 5, and I think that's as simple as it goes. And so 5 times 25 is 125. Five time, 25 times that is 600. So that's correct. 24 divided by 5. And that would be the final answer there. So there's some nice little examples of how you simplify and then solve for linear equations.